How's it going? This is exciting stuff. So exciting that I couldn't wait. I had to start making a video right now. Wise has just updated their beta software for their cameras as well as the app and made it possible for us to use the RTSP protocol to get a stream into any other NVR type software. That means MotionEye, that means Home Assistant. At $25 a piece, it's hard to do better than these wise cameras. So let's go through the process for getting it set up with the beta software so that you can get RTSP working today. This is the first website you're gonna need to visit. From here, you can grab the RTSP firmware. This isn't even just the regular beta firmware. This is a specific RTSP version of the firmware. You can use it for the version two or for the pan tilt. They're different, so make sure you get the right one. Download the firmware version that you need. Extract the bin. Now find that binary file that you just extracted and rename it to just demo.bin. Now you're gonna need an SD card. So put in an SD card and then make sure that it's formatted as FAT32. If it's not FAT32, if it's XFAT or something else, it won't work. So make sure if your SD card is not already FAT32 that you take a second and reformat it. You'll be glad you did. Now we can just copy that demo.bin onto our SD card, like that. Great, now we can eject the SD card. Now take our SD card and put it in the wise cam. Okay, now you gotta hold this little button and then power up your wise cam. Watch the little light, it'll go from orange to blue, and then you can let go. Okay, now it's gonna start flashing. I don't know if you could really tell that that turned blue, but promise it did turn blue. Now it's gonna flash for three or four minutes. In the meantime, let's get the app on the phone. So go to this page here about becoming a beta tester, and then you have to install test flight, and then click this link for your iPhone. And I'm guessing there's, is there one for Android? I don't know if there's one for Android. For iOS at least, you need to install test flight, and then click this link, and it will help you install this new Wise Beta app. Test flight looks like this. You should see the Wise app in your list once you've clicked that link. We're gonna open it up, and this is what we're met with. It looks just like the other app, but it's not just like the other app, it's special. If we look back at our camera, our camera's now blinking. That means it's ready to set up. So we just push the button again. Ready to connect. When it says ready to connect, we can click new device, pick which kind of device you have. If you just heard it say ready to connect, which we did, we can hit next. You put in your home Wi-Fi SSID and password, and then you have to scan that code with the camera. QR code scanned, please wait. Okay, QR code is scanned, please wait. Once you hear that, you can click this at the bottom and it'll start doing its business. It doesn't take very long actually. At least it didn't take very long last time. There you go. Now you're gonna give this device a name. We're gonna say, we're gonna call it Wise. Oh, actually, let's just put a couple extra Z's in there. Yeah like that, it's called the wise cam. <laughs> okay, finish setup and we should be greeted with something beautiful. Connecting, yep, there it is, my beautifulness. Now we go to advanced settings. So click the gear, I think, there we go. And advanced settings. And then down here at the bottom it should be RTSP. Hit that guy, and then turn it on. Now, I'm gonna regenerate this. So what you have to do is you need to give it a user and password. And this user and password is how you're gonna log into the camera, all right? So it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna change this after you guys see this video, so don't worry about 
stealing my password. All right. We're going to call it, uh, I like two Z's, please. Wise. And then we're going to say um, Aidensville because I like Aidensville as a password. So now you know. You've generated the URL now. It will tell you that's where you're going to go. Now, next step is let's go to Home Assistant. The camera's all set, ready to go. The app is all set, ready to go. I'm going to leave that up there because uh, we're going to want the IP address. It gives us the IP address and then that slash live. That's going to be important. If you have Motion Eye connected in Home Assistant, now we're in Motion Eye. We're going to add a new camera. So we add a camera. This is a network camera. And what we're going to put here actually is um, RTSP. And then for me, it's 192.168.1.1. 110 slash live and then it tells me what my user and password is right here username is w y z z e password capital a d e n s b i l l e and okay cross your fingers first time every time we're not going to save that we're going to close that we're going to scroll down until we see our new camera yay <laughs> now, it's going to default to like motion detection and stuff. So it's going to start filling up my SD card and I don't want it to do that. So I don't actually probably won't fill up the SD card. It'll probably default to filling up my uh, home assistant drive, which is worse. But now we can mess with some things. I haven't messed with things like the frame rate, but let's turn the frame rate up and see how that goes. Turn that up. Because the frame rate was really low. It was like two frames per second or something, which it can do better than that. So let's let's make it work harder. How's that? Okay, that's better. If I click on it, how am I getting? Yeah, there you go. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting 20 frames per second. The resolution's a little bit low. I do like that it's like, what is it doing with that green? I don't know what that is. That's interesting. So it must be something in this in the wise software that it's doing. So there's a lot left for me to tinker with here. I think we can probably let's increase this resolution and see what happens. All right, 640 by 480. Let's do something like that. Let's make it a little bit better before we overload everything. So there's a lot still that I don't know how to do uh, with as far as the settings, you know, tweaking the settings, fine tuning the settings, but it's in there. It's working. I mean, we got wise cam, pretty good picture, pretty live, uh, decent frame rate, decent resolution, 25 bucks. If I missed anything, let me know. Now it's time to go buy some more cameras. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I guess not. That's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time. Adios.